Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Rose Guy Gaming. It's your boy Sunny, and as you guys remember, in the last episode, we did leave it off and we were in third in the table. We're joint with Liverpool and Hull City with 10 points, and also Aston Villa and Everton have got 11 points above us. Hopefully, we can get points in this episode. Hopefully, we can go first. Let's do this. Alright, our first game we've got up against Stevenage in the Capital One Cup. You guys know I sim those games. We are playing our second team out there, Lacazette up front. We have moved Lewandowski into a strike in our first team with Ronaldo and Royce on the wings. We're playing a 4-3-3 now and I think we played a 4-3-3 in this game as well. But Hanazai there, or Yanazai as you guys like to call him, has picked up his first goal for Manchester United since that last goal that you guys saw at the near post. He's picked up a second as well in this game in the Capital One Cup. It's coming up to the 60th minute. Nani picks up a goal. That's 3-0 to Manchester United. 78-79. It's going to be to full time at 3-0. There we go. Capital One Cup. It looks like it's ours, lads. It looks like it's ours. 3-0 already. We're in good form. Yo, our next game against Norwich City is a big game. We can't afford to drop points. We want to pick up three points. So we are playing our first team. As you guys can see from the team sheet there, we have changed it up a bit. Have a look at it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you think I should change my formation and put players in and take players out, let me know. Let's do this. We're against Norwich City. We are away. I think they've actually introduced their stadium in FIFA 16. It was just announced. Carroll Road is it? I'm not sure to be honest. But hopefully it is. Obviously otherwise I'll be pissing off a lot of Norwich fans man. But they're on 5 points with 5 games. We're on 10 points with 10, 5 games as well. So hopefully we should be winning really. But if we don't we might need to look at our squad a bit. Ronaldo steps up for the free kick. We'll take a quick one here. We'll take a quick one. We go with two and a half bars or so. It's Ronaldo! Oh my god, I hit the post! Ronaldo gets it to Royce. Still Royce. Come on, Royce, a bit of skill. Oh, it's a pen. That's a pen. That's obviously a penalty. What the hell was he thinking? Stuck his foot out there. Wit taker. He took a he's a risk taker, not a wit taker. What the hell was that? Ronaldo stepping up. He's our top scorer, I think now. Number seven, there it is. I did change it as you guys know. Before that Chelsea game, I think it was. But Ronaldo stepping up. Come on, Ronaldo. Come on, Ronaldo. Oh my god, it's a save. The goalkeeper pulled out a big save. Can we get a goal though? Hopefully we can win this game now because obviously we've got the confidence to win. It's a header. Oh my god, it's another corner. Royce keep running. Schneiderlin, play it now. Oh my god, what a ball from Schneiderlin. Royce, oh god, I thought he got his first game. I mean his first goal for Manchester United. What a ball from Schneiderlin. Get in the box, Lewandowski. I know you've got the heading ability. Here's Royce. He skipped past the two defenders. Still Royce. Oh my days. I didn't even want to do that. But Royce with his first goal for Manchester United. That's how we do, lads. That is how we do. Look at this. Skips past his two defenders. There's too much pace for them. Into the far right corner. Into the top of the net. What a goal from Marco Royce. Boom! Nice finish. Nathan Redmond. Redmond back to that guy I can't pronounce. Redmond on the ball. We're trying to stop them going forward. We can't let them score. Oh my god. Jones, get in there. Fucking hell. 1-1. One, one. How did Norwich get that through? That was just unreal. Jones should have really took that and clipped that away. But it just fell to Van Wolfswinkle. And what a finish from him. He just took no mistake. He took no prisoners with that. What a finish though, it's a good finish through the legs of Jones, Handanovic had no chance looking at that because he just saw the ball too late, here's Ronaldo, plays it through, might be able to get a cross in, Carvajal with the cross, header, like a set man, you're not worth 30 million, you took two shots and both of them have been crap, Ronaldo, Ronaldo and I fuck that chance off. I should have played it down the wing and got a cross in, but we drew 1-1 with Norwich City. Two vital points dropped, lads. We should have been winning that game. De Maria disappointed with the result. Norwich seemed to be happy with the result. Van Wolfswinkle with their equaliser. Royce with a pretty good goal. We should have got that penalty as well. We should have actually scored that penalty. Obviously wasn't meant to be. Milner wants to play the next game as well. BSC I think it's against. Let me just check that. Yeah, go on then. I'll play you in the next game, Milner. Here we go. We've got our game up against BSC Young Boys. We are on legendary as always after we change to it. We've got Lacazette up front. Hannes on the left. Nani on the right. Milner in the squad as well. You want to check the rest out? Pause it. We're going into this game. That's a pretty nice. Stadium, the World Stadium. 
Pretty beast, pretty beast. We're in the Champions League. We lost our first game against Zenit in the last episode. And now we need to win. Zenit at the top there is Nozolo. Or Nozolo on the ball. They played it through. No. Oh my god. 1 0 already. Sunogo. He hit the post. He's made a name for himself here at BSC Young Boys. God, what a finish from Sunogo. Still Yanazai with the ball played in. There we go. Fellaini. Play it back to Yanazai. Get in the box, lads. In the box. Yanazai with the cross. Nick Powell jump. Oh my god. He, he went for it. He went like this for the jump. Powell. Powell plays it down into Fellaini. Here goes Fellaini with a run. You don't see it happening much, but here's Fellaini on the run. Fellaini! Oh my god, that's a pen. That's a pen. Yes! Hopefully we can score this one, though. We're going the same place that we went with Ronaldo. And he's made a save as well. Are all the goalkeepers knowing where I'm going? We're trying to catch them. It's just not happening. Nazolo gets the cross in. Harau. No, come on. Come on. Get the tackle in. No, no. Oh, that's a good save, Lindegaard. Get it. Oh, my God. That was so close. What a save from Lindegaard. Nozolo. So, no go. To, to Yokozo. I just was just putting no go on the end. Oh, my God. What a finish. Lindegaard had nothing to do there. He just had to do this with his hand. You can't see me, can you? Like that. But, no. My God, my God, he went for a dive. He just had to step to the right, put his hand out. That would have been saved, but he wanted to go for a beautiful save. Here comes Yanazai. Cut back, play it in. Lako, cut back. Lako, what are you doing? Still Lako, though. Here's Lako. Not sure what to do. I'm going to cut back inside. Lacazette, finesse. Oh, my days. That's why he's worth 30 million. I was thinking you missed the penalty, you were not worth 30 million to me. Ronaldo obviously was worth 45 and Thiago Silva. But now Lacazette, he scored his first goal for Manchester United. I think it's his first goal. So hopefully now he could get into form. It's actually his second goal if I remember right. You've got the pace. Here we go. Here we go. Cut back. Chamberlain. Still Chamberlain. Plays it through. Yanazai. Yes. 2-2. We've actually drew level after we were losing 2-0 at the start of this game. They've got a cross in water. Header from Constanzo making it through 3-2. We're losing again. We need to get two goals now. This is this is exciting for me. We need to get two goals. What a header though from Constanzo. Quick counter. Come on. Come on. Lacko. Danny Ings. Back to Lacko. Lacko, come on, make it worth it. Oh, he's hit the post and it's come to full time. I thought we would have got time for the throw. My God, he hit the post in the 19th minute. I can't believe it. We've lost 3-2 against BSC Young Boys. We've lost two games in the Champions League. It doesn't look like we're going to be picking up the Champions League trophy either before FIFA 16. I really wanted to. What is this? Daily Blind out for two months. As if we were already having squad problems. We've already got not enough players in the squad. And our daily blinds out for two months. I am going to be building my squad up just for depth, lads, in the January transfer window. And also let me know what players you want me to bring in as well. But daily blind is out for two months. Last game of the episode. We have put Lacazette and Yanazai in the team for this game up against Swansea. Simply because they played beast against BSC Young Boys. As you can see on the left there at the top, Yanazai in great form. If you want to see the rest of the squad, pause it as always. Let's get into this game. Here we go. We're at home, lads. We're at Old Trafford. Hopefully we can win this game. We do need the points. We did draw against Norwich City. We really should have won that game. But anyway, we drew, which means we only got one point. We dropped two wide or points waiting for Lacko. There we go. We've got Lacko. We found Lacko. Lacko playing in. Here's Milner. Milner on the ball. Chase Milner. He's turning out to be a good signing. I got him for free from Manchester City and he's already scored two great points. What was that? I think that was actually like some kind of camera celebration, which is what they want to bring in to FIFA 16, but it's actually happened in FIFA 15. I've never saw that happen. He's actually ran over by the cameraman and he's celebrated by the cameraman to the camera. What the heck? I've never seen that happen. Let me know if you guys have and let me know if you're psyched up for FIFA 16. But what a goal from James Milner putting it into the back of the net, making it 1-0 to Manchester United. Oh my God, he nearly took his neck off. Here's Ronaldo. He's turned him off nicely. Still Ronaldo. Cut the side. Ronaldo. Oh my God, it was curling. It just curled a bit too late. Here's Dyer. Meet you. Back to Dyer. Back to Meet you. Please. Handanovic. What a save. 
I told you guys, this was the best signing I've ever made. Handanovic has been hands down one of the best signing. They've got a corner though. Hopefully we can keep it out. If we can, we might be able to counter as well. But we want to concentrate on not conceding first. Varane had it that away. It's foul to Swansea though. Here's Amart. Plays it to Carroll. Plays it back into Taylor. Back to Amart. Amart. That's a shit shot. Klein has lost it. No. Oh my God. Save from Handanovic. What a save. Rangal over the top. I knew I it was a good idea to bring in Handanovic. Handanovic, please save me again. Oh my god, they've hit the bar. The bar saved me. And then they scored 1 1. I was saying how good Handanovic was, but he came out a bit too far. I didn't even bring him out. He ran out there. Oh god, that was unlucky for us. Handanovic, fuck it, full time. See what I mean? They don't give us the time to score a goal. God, that should have been a win to be honest. We were dominating that game. Swansea did have a good couple of chances and then they scored. They did deserve the goal to be honest with you. But Milner's goal had to be contender for the goal of the game. It was just a pretty good goal, man. But we did manage to pick up at least one point. We should have been picking up three. But one point is still alright. At least we've got one from the game. It's been a long time since Liverpool were in first, man. But they're on 14 points with seven games. Chelsea on 14 with seven games as well. Tottenham and Sunderland joint in third and fourth with 13 points Spurs going on um, going up ahead on goal difference with five and Sunderland on four Man United with plus six goal difference and we're on 12 points as well as Everton so Man City Man United like big teams Arsenal and 14th they're just not doing that good are they Chelsea and Liverpool at the top with Spurs just still three good good teams up there Sunderland above us at the moment I don't know this should be a pretty decent season it looks like everybody's competing for the title man but make sure you guys follow us on twitter and like us on facebook if you're enjoying the series subscribe if you're new if you're not then i love you guys for sticking around and also drop a bomb on that motherfucking like button it's been your boy sunny and i'm out peace